QSense is a cluster for future researching quantum devices, quantum sensors. We bring together 19 industrial partners, two universities, University of Stuttgart and Ulm, and also three research institutions trying to bring quantum sensors to the market. And we do so by researching scalable integration technologies for quantum devices. We are aiming to bring quantum sensors to everyone in the world, not only to have it in big laboratories that require very heavy instrumentation. We use a lot of microelectronics and photonic integration technologies, and to bring these technologies together, we use hybrid integration technologies such as 3D printing and additive manufacturing. We use the Dragonfly, for instance, so that's a printer which combines electronic printing, so conductive structures and non-conductive structures, to heterogeneously co-integrate electronic devices and our quantum sensors. At the moment, we look at all possible applications. So we have sensors measuring magnetic fields, and magnetic fields can be used for almost anything. So we measure muscle signals, brain signals, so that's more the medical applications. And the quantum sensor basically can pick up those signals, but to have a scalable device, you need to integrate the quantum sensor itself with electronics and photonics. And to this end, we use the printer to get a device which is small and scalable and cheap. My research is focused on designing a circular electrical feed electrode for laser cooling molecular systems. At the moment, I'm manufacturing this device using a Dragonfly 3D printer. The physicists might use it for further quantum related applications and for quantum simulations and quantum chemistry. Currently, my research focuses on sensing um, unpaired electrons. This has various applications, for example, in the field of chemical engineering and chemistry to investigate the electrical structure of materials. My work is related to flexible sensors like pressure sensors, strain sensors, that's going to work with the, like robotics or prosthetic arms. Flexible sensor was hard initially. Now, with the help of these 3D printers, we are able to get any kind of pattern, any kind of design. In terms of testing, we first test our devices electrically and then in, in situ, so to speak, in the application. So just making sure it's able to pick up the magnetic fields that we want to look at. And then we also do in vivo tests, so in vitro and in vivo tests. And we also collaborate with the University Hospital in Tübingen, where they really measure with those devices on patients. So at the moment, all of our companies are interested in this technology because the markets are not very large. The volumes that we look at are 10,000, maybe 100,000 samples per year. So that's absolutely achievable with 3D printing. I think in the future, it's more the smaller sized companies that would use this technology to also bring products to the market. Mm -hmm.